Welcome back, everybody. My name is Rudy, and you're watching Timmy's Emporium. And I hope everyone's having a splendid day. So, um, we're continuing our journey through the Golden Ticket Willy Wonka Crazy Drano. Not the plumbing stuff, it's just called the Drano, because it drains your wallet of crazy shiny goodness. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at here. So, if everyone's having a fantastic day, as always, make sure you enjoy your day, everybody. So, I decided to keep the same playmat, because, I mean, come on, look at those eyes. How can you not like the playmat, everybody? All right, everybody, where should we go? Over here? All right, so these two boxes are for my patron, Robert M. Mr. Wait a minute, Robert, are you? Uh, I believe, Robert, are you related to the famous dude? The Bobby? Bobby McGee? Is that? Are you the same person? Are you a famous person? That explains how you can afford the packs. All right, well, good luck, everybody. Good luck, Robert. And uh, let's see how we do here. So we're going to start off with our first frame on the common. And we've got a bunch of gorgeous common foils. And boom, so we did get a common. I mean, no matter how much anyone says, how can you not say these things are not gorgeous? These might be the most beautiful things ever, man. All right, we're looking at three regular middle cards, an uncommon random card, terrible. And we did get an acclaimed with a foil rare fable passage. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Not bad. All right, we got a nice tree folk for the first slot. Nice little gingerbread cabin. Curious pair, another double alternate. That's very nice. That's what I said. Getting two in one pack is a, a very nice start for that first two slot. And then for the middle slot, no rares. We did get an Ogos. We got a third rare for the random card. Ooh, first of the luck one. And just a stolen by the Fey regular foil rare. I have not seen that. A giant token? like gi why? So they all have food on the back. I wonder how long food's going to be a thing. It's been very interesting to see all the, the prices just swing around all over the place as everyone tries to figure out what card's worth what. Rimrock! And uh, let's see here. Uncommons? Nope. Alright, and for the non-foil basics? Nope. Ooh, Rowan coming through in the middle slot. Mythic, that's nice. Nice little bonus Mythic. Hey, Fervent Champion, that's a nice extended one. And a foil rare, just a regular Linden. No exotic. And, of course, she's like, thanks for playing. I hope you enjoyed giving your money to Wizards of the Coast. All right, everyone. So, uh, so far, normal, Robert. No crazy pools, not a complete dumpster fire. We're running down the middle. We got the Garum Brig. All right, all right. So we get an uncommon foil also, or uncommon bone. Look at that art. Isn't that creepy? All right. Oh, we did get a rare. Bonus rare in the Bone Crusher. So we did get one bonus rare in the middle. Very nice to see. Boom! Banish into Fable. Second foil. Uh, bonus. The Can't even talk. Two rares. Third rare. Dance of the Mance. And a first mythic of the box. The Ember Clave. Just a regular foil mythic. Isn't that amazing? I'm over here saying, oh, it's just a regular foil mythic. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? If, if this was a regular booster box and I'm over here like I just pulled a foil mythic, we'd be like screaming, yelling for like taco trucks, man. Isn't that amazing how quickly we can all get uh, desensitized? Unicorn. So I always found that kind of uh, interesting how things can change very quickly on the perceptions. All right. Intruder, Knight, and Tree Folk. No rares in the middle. Oh, Common Griffin for the bonus. Extended Fable. I always love that art. And a Dance of the Mance. I love that nice little rhyme. Just a regular foil rare, everybody. All right. Nothing too exotic yet. We are approaching halfway. Guide Mother. All right, and just, that's it. And we did get a second uncommon frame, Animating Fairy. All right, Queen, Tree Folk, Rimrock, okay. And, all right, bonus rare, Steel Bame Hydra, Four-Headed Rudy Turtle. Boo, nice. See, this is actually becoming my favorite slot. The non-foil, the extended art, because you're going to have no future foil curling issue. Is that still an issue, or did they fix that? And on top, I just, I don't know, I like the feel of that. And, ooh, there you go. Ira, first of the locker. Very nice. So that was a good pack. So you had a nice rare. Would have been even amazing. It's a box topper. You, we did have an extended mythic, a bonus rare, and then we had an uncommon and common on the alternate frame. So that was actually a pretty, that was a really nice, solid pack, everybody. So that's, those are the more, uh, those are definitely the profitable ones. Silver Flame. And let's see here. Boom! Fay of Wish is very nice, rare. That one's been selling very well, actually. 
So we did get a bow, the wind scarred. Jokes on you, everybody card. And Charming Prince, still think he looks a little creepy. Something about him. It's like, trust me, I got a cool outfit on, but I'm going to take your money. I don't know, something about him bothers me. Oh, baby! Oh, man, fantastic hit, everybody. One of the best cards in the set in the full Monty box topper. Rare, extended, and of course, you're welcome, as she says. Very nice, best pull of the box so far. Uh, I would assume, what is this, 50, 100, 150? I have no idea what that's worth. Definitely one of the best cards in the set. Probably at least $50. Very, very nice pull there. Wow. Okay. I think we've only gotten that one other time in all the openings. Ooh. Uncommon Sprite alternate. Very nice. And that's it for that one. Oops. Put you up there. Make sure we track that. I'm really curious. And nothing in the non-foil. And another. Wow. We're getting a lot of the rares in the old uh, random slot there in the Mammoth. Boom. Extended Arc Coil Serpent. And of course, well... The Extended Box Topper Charming Prince. Not one of the best cards in the set, but hey, after that lurker of the old lotch there, that was, uh, it's going to be tough to beat that little guy. So we're at uh, two box toppers in this box. All right, Carver. Let's see what we got, everybody. Here we go, and that's it. Ooh, Murderous Rider. We did get a nice bonus rare in the middle there. All right, and a oh, terrible swing and a miss common card. And Once Upon a Time Extended Art. Very nice. And Coil Serpent. Oh, man. You know what I just thought of? Everyone's going to start saying it again. Here we go. Anybody notice again? All the all the box toppers, they're all right back to back again. Every time. Anybody else noticing that? All three of the box toppers were together. And I bet that's it for the box. Yeah, there's something going on with the sorting there. Because right when you get one, they tend to follow each other. They're not, they don't feel random throughout the box. Queen of Ice for the first one. And uh, hopefully that trend can be broken here in a few more videos, but we will see. Uncommon, uncommon, and common. And, okay, silver wing, bonus little rare. Ooh, great henge. There you go. There's a nice mythic, finally. And, oh my god, see? All the, all the box toppers are together. Holy crap, every time, all of them are together. Well, all four box toppers are together. By the way, Robert, fantastic opening. You're at four box toppers in this particular and including some of the best cards in the set this is a really this is turning out to be a really good opening today everybody holy smokes all right merchant very nice and let's see what else we got here all right and nothing just one uncommon common nothing in the second slot boom mythic what brawl excellent fairy and let's get that card down there all right, Sundering, and a Fires of Invention regular. So that's it for the box, then. I bet you we don't get any more. See, that's really, that's really weird. Every time you get them, they're all clumped together. Murder, folk. All right, here we go. Tournament, and just one. Okay, and common, common, and three common ultimates. Oh, we got another bonus rare, Chittering Witch. And an extended Gargoyle with a Love Struck Beast, just the regular frame. So that one did end up turning out to be a very, very good opening for a collector's box. We got four Full Monty extended box toppers in that particular box. Plus, we hit some really nice of the regular box toppers. Uh, overall, um, I, I think those are going to maintain the best, especially the foil box toppers that are Mythics. That box didn't have a single Mythic box topper. That's where I'm starting to learn the rarity. That's where I think the big money is really going to hold up. Because those things, I'm starting to realize, holy smokes, those things are really tough to get, everybody. All right, here we go. We're going in, not messing around. Come on, where are all the alternate four? Oh, my God, none? Okay, hey, giant killer. At least we got one rare. So one rare in the middle. Nothing good in the first slot. Okay, bonus rare. Nice little Embereth. And we got ourselves a nice... Gorgeous, fantastic castle, great hit, and boom, Dance of the Man, starting out of the gate, everybody, absolutely strong start, everybody, first box topper, first pack on box two, excellent start to the video, so of course, the question is, here's the real question, ooh, foil opt, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy, uh, the question is, are the other box toppers going to be following? Boom! Curious pair. Very nice alternate. 
And let's see what we got here, folks. You know, by the way, I know you guys can't smell the cards, but I'm in the office here filming these things, and the scent of all the foils of the metallic burn smell, because the amount of foils in these things is a very strong smell. I want to comment on that, everybody. All right, nothing in the middle. Okay, can we talk about this? These thing, this card is selling for eighteen dollars on eBay with like forty sold. This common rando slot card is eighteen dollars. Uh, okay, that's all. And escape to the one. Oh my God, there it is again. The trend. All the box toppers right next to each other. Do you see that? Two in a row. Two packs in. Look at that. Fabled Passage box topper. <sighs> I'm starting to get concerned about that. I have a funny feeling after this video, people are really going to start pointing that out. All right. Uh, let's see if it breaks that trend. Boom. There's our Flax Intruder, our one alternate. Uncommon, common, common. And a nice Rowan bonus rare. Ooh, Cauldron of Attorney. I don't even think I've seen that yet. Oh, wow. That is really sweet. A 12 drop? Oh, my goodness. Okay. And a Mirror Maid. Regular rare. Okay. So, so our two box toppers with the first two packs side by side. Let's see if that continues. Boom! Reaper of Night. Absolutely stunning. And, oh, Uncommon Foulmire alternate. And a regular one. That's cool. Side by side. And, wow, this is turning out, wow, this is really good start to a box. Fakehurst Mythic Bonus, and Rudy the Dwarf, oops, oh, almost dropped it, and just a Castle Garenbrig Standard Foil Rare. So, yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. Turn, Toonville Tree Folk? I'm not sure. And that's it for the, okay, Bonus Rare, Fay of Wishes. In that slot, and oh, another bonus rare fairy formation in the middle. Boom! Hush money extended. First time making an appearance. Oh, baby. And a foil mythic master of pranks. One of the best cards in the set. If you get this in a box topper, oh, big, you just, you got big money pound town party pack with five free McDonald's toys inside. All right, Silver Flame. Our first one, and any other specialty alternate frames? Come on, baby, give me the alternate frames. Nope, that is it for the first slot. Bonus! Oh, I thought... That is a cool card, though. I love that sprite. Very, very cool, creepy card. All right, and nothing in the middle slot. Ah, oh, the win. Reach around. Slap across the face. Terrible card. All right, stolen by the Fae. And a Charming Prince. Standard foil rare, everybody. So have you noticed after those first two box toppers were clumped together, we haven't gotten another one? Is anybody noticing that? All right, Silver Flame for the beauty. And uncommons, anything, anything? Nope. All right, the com, anything in the middle slot? Nothing. And hey, we got a rare, another mammoth. And for the bonus there, Piper of the Swarm, fantastic card, by the way. And a Bone a Crusher Giant Foil Rare Standard Frame Version. All right, so we started off really strong. Now we're kind of cooling back off, it feels like. Tree Folk! And let's see what we got here. Uncommon, uncommon. Oh, baby! Oko has made an appearance. Which slot are you in? Okay, so you took the middle slot again. That's so weird. Why is the Garouk or Oko only in the middle slot? That's so strange to me. All right, you are only in that slot. Wow, workshop. Holy crap. Oh my god, what a pack. Box topper, extended art rare, bonus rare, Oko mythic, and an alternate common. Now, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make it. That's how you double, triple your money in a single pack. Holy smokes. That was one of the best packs of the video. Wow. That was a... Whew. And followed by... Looks like nothing good in the first slot. Followed by nothing good in the second slot. Boom! Sergwin. Very nice. Here we go. Here it comes. And there we go, everybody. Another box topper. See? We started on the box toppers. We got two in a row again. Every time, the box toppers come in clumps. Is anybody not noticing that? That's so creepy, man. All right. Sword Master Man. And... Hey, come on, come on. One more. Give us an uncommon. Nope. And anything in the middle slot? Nothing in the middle. Ooh, Mace of the Valiant. Beautiful looking key right there. Rare. 
And we got ourselves, very, by the way, great card, and a regular rare Wildborn. So I bet you, see, we had the two box toppers stuck together, and I bet these last two packs will not have anything, no box topper in the last slot. Watch. Bet you guys anything. All right, Lonesome Unicorn. All right. And, ooh, and a Beanstalk. Wow, that was a double alternate frame pack. Very, very nice, everybody. Middle slot, nothing. Ah, oh, Thorn, what, complete garbage common card. And, ooh, extended art folio with a regular foil sundering stroke. All right, last pack of the video today, everybody. Robert, thank you, and I uh, hope you and your, uh, your family enjoy the video, sir. And uh, not bad pulls. You actually got a lot more box toppers in this particular box in the, I think, the last two or three videos. I don't think we've had this many. And nothing, oh, this last pack's looking like garbage. And Knight's Charge with a rare, it's beautiful Castle Vantress, and the Storm Fist Crusader, non-extended. Very interesting stuff, everybody. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, please ignore the creepy guy that just, you just don't want to let him near you. And, um, I don't know, my only concern is how come all the full art foil box toppers are always in clumps? That's the, my only comment. Besides that, everything else seems fine. Excellent card quality, at least from the product I received. And uh, that's it. You guys have a fantastic day. She does have cool eyes.